<laughs> you were dancing, Uma. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I look like a wreck because I just exercise. I just have this motivation in the morning at five o'clock. I woke up and I'm like, I'm just gonna exercise. So I, we actually slept at my in-laws' house, but then I uh, just drove home and exercised because the kids are here. And yeah, and I basically exercised and really feel feeling really good, feeling really proud. The best thing is my creativity just went like crazy. I've always wanted to write a book to share with people, you know, my secrets in life about like outsourcing especially and all these ideas just came this morning. I'm so glad that I did this exercise because what came out of it is just much more than just fitness. I came up with my topic for my book. So the way I put it is like even like minimalism. A lot of people love this whole new, new concept of minimalism and I do too. But it's not really about just throwing out one bag of things and then that's it you know you become a minimalist or clean out your whole house one time and that's a minimalist it's really about ongoing process it's constantly decluttering because I remember uh, first decluttering you know my house a year ago and now I'm just I just found more things that I need to get rid of that aren't serving my life and then also every time I buy things I'm always questioning myself whether it's going to add value and things and so minimalism is something you also do all the time and, and keep on getting better at doing it. So same with outsourcing. A lot of people just outsource um, one time, you know, oh yes, I got a cleaner now and they do it like once a month or you know, once every every two months and they think, thought that they've started outsourcing and they feel proud, but has that really saved you much time? No, not really. And so yeah, I was one of those who started with, you know, once a month and once every fortnight and nowadays it's actually five days a week. So I constantly keep, upgrading my outsourcing um, ability and capacity and basically leaving me with things that only I can do. Like, I can't literally outsource, uh, you know, spending time with my family, spending time with my friends, those things I need to do. And so I want, my goal is to outsource as much as I can, leaving me with the things I truly want to do and the only thing that I can do. So I can't wait for the book. Um, I want to hear what you think about this new book. Um, I really want to take you on my journey and you know, I want your advice and ideas on it as well and get your feedback on it and but basically let's go through this journey together you know as I vlog through this I'm going to share with you where I'm up to with my book and how I'm actually going to launch it and uh, it'll be exciting all right so I better get off my ass and take a shower and then get ready because today I have to take Monica to another, another photo shoot to build up some more library of photos as well as I have a confirmation for my niece as well as uh, dinner uh, for Father's Day at my in-laws house. So a busy day, so I'll see you again later. Hi, so we got here early at Jessica, the uh, photographer's house, and uh, just killing time by turning on Gangnam Style Dance. And Jordan is doing a performance for us. Go, yeah. So we're inside now, waiting for the mass to start. His voice. It's so squeaky, high pitched, yeah. But they said we can't. Yeah, they said we can't film while the mass is on. So I guess we will have to just witness it and no video now. Oh now, they're 
like adults now and they're all sensible and they're not as little kids anymore and they're taller than me and this is the Italian food this is what we eat lasagna Arancini, pizza, everything that's fat and You're making a video. Yes. Hey, that's happy Father's Day too. Don't you just wish you have a father like mine? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs>